Ever pondered about creating a balanced crypto portfolio? The key lies in understanding the cryptocurrency market. Like any financial market, it operates in its own unique rhythm, a cycle that lasts roughly four years. And what dictates this cycle? The Bitcoin halving. This event, which takes place every four years, diminishes the reward for mining Bitcoin by half, thus enhancing the scarcity of the digital currency. It's a notable event that has traditionally shaped the zenith of each crypto market cycle. The rule of thumb suggests that the market top usually emerges about a year and a half after the Bitcoin halving. If we project this pattern onto the upcoming cycle, and considering the next Bitcoin halving is expected to take place in 2024, we could predict that the pinnacle of that cycle is not too far ahead. This implies that the high point for the upcoming cycle will likely be sometime in late 2025 or early 2026. Investing in cryptocurrencies involves balancing risk and reward. Let's explore this concept. Picture this. Investing in Bitcoin during its early days was akin to riding the wildest roller coaster imaginable. The thrill was unparalleled, but so was the fear of plummeting into the abyss. The uncertainty was palpable, as Bitcoin could have just as easily crashed to zero. But those who braved the storm, like Binance CEO CZ, reaped immense rewards. Now let's draw a parallel to a more traditional investment, Tesla stock. Believe it or not, the risk associated with investing in Bitcoin today is probably not far off from investing in Tesla. Especially considering that Tesla itself holds billions of dollars in Bitcoin. But let's get real. Not everyone can stomach this level of risk. Unless you're a young maverick with no responsibilities or debt, the prospect of such high stakes might make you break out in a cold sweat. But that's okay. Investing isn't a one-size-fits-all game. It's about understanding your risk tolerance and making decisions that align with it. Risk tolerance is essentially your ability to withstand losses. It varies from person to person. Influenced by factors such as age, financial situation and future goals. It's crucial to assess your risk tolerance before diving headfirst into the world of cryptocurrency investing. Remember, high risk can lead to high rewards, but it's not for everyone. Let's start with low risk, low reward cryptocurrencies. When it comes to the more stable side of the crypto market, Bitcoin and Monero stand out as prime examples. These digital currencies have established themselves with robust security, widespread acceptance, and steady growth over time. They're what you might call the blue chip stocks of the crypto world. You see, Bitcoin, being the pioneer and the largest player, is often seen as a safe haven in the crypto market. Its adoption by major corporations and financial institutions has further solidified its position. Monero, on the other hand, has carved a niche for itself with its focus on privacy and anonymity. These cryptocurrencies offer a low risk, low reward scenario. They're not likely to make you a millionaire overnight, but they also won't likely leave you penniless. For the more cautious investors among us, these are the steadier ships in the stormy seas of the crypto market. By the end of this bull market, Bitcoin and Monero could see an increase of 50 to 100%. In the grand scheme of things, these numbers might seem modest, especially when compared to the spectacular gains some altcoins have seen. But let's put this into perspective. These returns are still far more substantial than most traditional investment avenues. So, while the returns on these low-risk, low-reward cryptocurrencies might not be as flashy as some of their counterparts, they offer a level of stability and growth potential that's hard to ignore. These returns might seem small, 
compared to other cryptocurrencies, but they are still higher than most traditional investments. Next, let's move to medium risk, medium reward cryptocurrencies. These are the cryptocurrencies that offer a balanced play in the crypto market. A good place to start would be smart contract coins. These are cryptocurrencies that not only serve as a medium of exchange, but also allow for the execution of smart contracts on their platform. Uh, let's consider some examples. Ethereum's ETH, Polkadot's DOT, Cardano's ADA, Solana's SOL, Cosmos Atom, and Kusama's KSM are all smart contract coins. Each has its own unique features and benefits, but what they all have in common is their potential for a solid return on investment. Ethereum, for instance, is the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap and has been at the forefront of the smart contract revolution. On the other hand, Cardano's ADA aims to offer more secure and scalable smart contracts. These coins are expected to see returns of between two to five times by the end of this bull market. That means if you invest $100 today, you could potentially have two to $500 by the end of the cycle. Now remember, while these returns are exciting, they come with their fair share of risks. The crypto market is highly volatile and prices can fluctuate wildly. So before you dive in, do your own research, understand the market, and most importantly, only invest what you can afford to lose. These coins offer a balance of risk and reward, making them a good choice for many investors. There's another type of medium risk, medium reward cryptocurrencies, exchange tokens. Exchange tokens are a unique breed in the crypto world, uniquely designed to increase in value, they are a forex and crypto hybrid, offering an interesting play for investors looking for a bit more punch in their portfolio. Let's consider Binance Coin or BNB. Binance, one of the largest global cryptocurrency exchanges, issues and controls BNB. This token offers various utilities within the Binance ecosystem, including reduced trading fees, its value is intrinsically tied to the success of the Binance platform, making it a sort of barometer for the overall health of the crypto trading market. Next, we have the FTX token, a utility token for the FTX cryptocurrency derivatives exchange. Much like BNB, FTX token holders enjoy benefits like lowered trading fees and socialized gains from the insurance fund. Other examples include the Wobi token, the KuCoin shares token, and OKEx's OKB token. Each of these tokens is tied to their respective exchanges and they all offer similar benefits to their holders. The beauty of exchange tokens lies in their design. They are structured to appreciate in value, driven by their utility within the platform that issues them. However, this also means they carry a certain level of risk. As these tokens are centrally controlled, their value is directly tied to the success of the platform itself. Exchange tokens are designed to increase in value, but remember, they are centrally controlled. So as always, do your due diligence before diving in. Now let's look at medium risk, high reward cryptocurrencies. Medium risk, high reward cryptocurrencies strike an interesting balance. They offer the potential for significant returns, but they also carry a greater risk than their low and medium risk counterparts. How do we identify these cryptocurrencies? There are a few key criteria to consider. First, we look at the market cap. These cryptocurrencies typically have a market cap of at least a few hundred million dollars. This indicates they have solid exchange support and ample trading volume, both of which are crucial for their law for their long-term viability. Next, we evaluate the project's real-world use case. 
Does the cryptocurrency solve a real-world problem? This is a strong indicator of its potential value and long-term sustainability. More importantly, the use case should be easy for the average person to understand. If people can't see where the value is, they're less likely to invest. Thirdly, does the project have a functioning product? If it's all theory and no action, that's a red flag. We want to see decent adoption already in place. This shows that the project isn't just a good idea on paper, but it's also a viable solution in practice. Finally, we consider the tokenomics and token allocations. Robust. Tokenomics and fair token allocations are key to the cryptocurrency's value and potential for growth. Remember though, with greater potential returns come greater risks. It's essential to do your own research and understand what you're investing in. These cryptocurrencies offer higher potential returns, but come with increased risk. Finally, let's discuss high risk, high reward investments. These are the cryptocurrencies that could potentially change your life overnight, but they're not for the faint-hearted. You see, finding these gems is akin to searching for a needle in a haystack. It's tough, requires immense patience, and carries a lot of risk. Imagine investing in Bitcoin in the early days. The potential for reward was astronomical, but so was the risk. You could have hit the jackpot, or you could have lost everything. That's the nature of high risk, high reward investments. It's an all or nothing game. Now in the current crypto space, Binance DeFi is one example of a high risk, high reward investment. But remember, the crypto landscape is, is ever evolving. Soon we may see other DeFi ecosystems emerging on platforms such as Polkadot and Cardano offering similar high risk, high reward opportunities. But let's not sugarcoat it. These investments are not for everyone. They require a deep understanding of the crypto market, a high tolerance for risk, and the financial capability to withstand potential losses. And even then, there are no guarantees. So, if you're thinking about diving into high risk, high reward uh, uh, investments, you might want to consider hunting for promising initial coin offerings or ICOs. These could potentially offer a hundredfold return. High risk, high reward investments are like hunting for treasure. It could lead to great wealth or total loss. Always invest wisely. Moving on, let's not forget that investing in cryptocurrencies requires a balanced approach. It's not about chasing after the highest returns blindly, but understanding the risk and reward associated with each type of cryptocurrency. Having a diversified portfolio can help spread the risk. You might want to consider investing a portion of your portfolio in low-risk cryptocurrencies, another portion in medium-risk ones, and a small fraction in high-risk, high-reward cryptocurrencies. This way, you can benefit from potential high returns while keeping your overall risk at a manageable level. And of course, always remember to invest wisely and within your risk tolerance. It's easy to get carried away by the allure of astronomical returns. But remember, the higher the potential reward, the higher the risk. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And lastly, keep learning. The crypto market is ever evolving. And the more knowledge you have, the better equipped you'll be to navigate this exciting yet challenging landscape. So, that's it for today's video. We hope it has given you a better understanding of the risk versus reward spectrum in the cryptocurrency market. Happy investing!